players in the broadcast media brought together in a heated meeting at Mulungushi International Conference Center in Lusaka discussing challenges and opportunities in digital broadcast. Well, as a digital migration draft policy provides that five TV channels would be free, only ZNBCEs on this platform, a situation that raised serious questions. If a TV station wants to transmit uh, in Lusaka uh, per month, you, you can follow me through, it, it will be 30,172. Cost borne by private media is footing ZNBC Star Time Zone also raised tempers when it was heard that both maintenance fee paid to Topstar and carriage fees paid to Zikta also contribute to loan repayment. As we are sitting, we have decided now to say maybe the best one is to get this matter to court because we have to go to the line and line and line every day. How can they come to me calling upon us to help them pay on the road? I think the issue of the road is your business, not our business. Find a way of paying. You have so many avenues to get the money and pay for the loan. The toll gates, toll of the the cheap the road is not there. Why can't you pay for the loan? Leave us alone. Just leave us alone. I don't think you know, that is a great way of doing business. Why are they going to pay maintenance fee? Why should robot TV stations be used to pay maintenance fee? So the boss has got to follow the budget on it. Some of us have made decisions to be off top star because, some, because of some of these things that are not being done. There is no TV station that will survive. Where will they get the money from? We have our own ones to think about. So you can't always advance them today alone when we have nothing to do with it. So why is uh, Z a charging a channel? Because for what you just told us now, you are saying it's a channel. But you are not dealing with channels, you are dealing with frequencies. Meanwhile, making presentation, Prime TV Deputy Managing Editor Mwape Kumwenda and Diamond TV Chief Executive Officer Costa Mwansa called for a level playing field. And also, the topster should also be subjected to CCPC control on bad trading habits. All signal carriers, which include topster, should comply with Zikta Act of 2010. There are people from Ghana that we know right now that have got TV plus Africa and many people in the USA that are transmitting Zambian signals on OTT across the world. But people are subscribing through that. Who is getting that money? Your content at your cost but being paid for by the end user. Information Minister Dora Celia says the digital migration loan and its repayment plan will not be changed and that the media must just look at other marketing strategies. And not that I wish anybody ill, but in any business, some survive, some don't. Because the competition is real. And from yourselves, I heard the numbers that even revenue is a challenge because it's limited. So it's time to think about the box, outside the box, in terms of collaborations, in terms of partnering with the bigger players in the market, in terms of sourcing uh, and producing cheaper content, and in terms of organizing ourselves in this sector to see how best can we take advantage of the opportunities before the threats actually swallow us. But to remain constant is that there's a loan to be paid and it to be paid using the SPV. We can posture all we want, but that will remain constant. Issues relating to Bill Lampt on private media and the promised provision of five free channels remain unresolved. Oswadi Amban II. Prime TV News, Lusaka.